That's it. Meeting by Simpson Pusey and Callum Hewlett on the right, who is the city skipper. Every minute of this youth cup run. Still managing to look pretty calm. But underneath it all, Chris, I'm sure there'll be some nerves. Yeah, I think certainly for these Bristol City players that, that there'll be some big nerves and and the coaches. Yeah, Tre I mean Trevor's very relaxed as you can see. He <laughs> a smile on his face. Um, he has a little bit of banter on the touchline with you. He, he, he's been there a long time. But we, we've coached against each other a, a few times, and he'll be enjoying this to have got this far in the competition. And he knows he's got a good team this year, a really strong team, and they'll come in confident. As you say, they're, they're very used to winning games. Eight of this Bristol City lineup have started all five of these ties now. That is a, a nice consistency for sure. Manchester City swapping around a bit more. Maybe that's because they have a bigger pool from which to choose. We shall see. They're overloading on the right side here. With a kickoff. I don't know if Pep Guardiola had that one in. Nicely taken. Heskey, good way to pass there. Bobado in the middle, didn't quite reach him because Campbell Slowey got there first. That's a crucial touch, wasn't it, from Campbell Slowey, but lovely the way that Manchester City trusted themselves, played through the press, <laughs> released that ball out to the wide left, cross comes in and it's well dealt with by... Violet with a neat little trick and he's not wasted any time in getting that ball in touch from Yeboah and the shot and a rare one in this game from Jed Meerholtz. Yeah, There's a half chance isn't it as it falls to Meerholtz on the edge of the box on his left foot. Good ball in from Filer. Only half cleared by C Manchester City. Div leads because they're, they're a category one but they do mix it up a little bit and make it more difficult to play. Famous name from Leeds past in Yuboa has won another corner here and we'll see that later. The first half. A little deeper from Anderson. That is a brilliant ball. Absolutely score. brilliant from left back to right back. And I'm afraid Joe James will have been dreaming of a moment like that as all 22 of these will have. Oh, he should have it's done a better. Beautiful ball, isn't it? The whip and the pace on it. It just goes over there to Cam. Campbell Slowey, and you just wonder whether he just loses sight of as it goes over Campbell Slowey's head. Was he expecting? Now, Dala here. So Cali for company taking him on. First to over hit across to know. He pulled yeah, his he's hamstring again. His hamstring, isn't Another he? Another one. Oh dear. Well, maybe. We'll Morrison. That's a good early ball. Really good. Filer's header. Very comfortable save, but I like this direct approach and they look more dangerous for it. Yeah, lovely first touch, wasn't it? From Phillips and whips the ball in. Was it Morris? Sorry, Morrison wide left, wasn't it? Playing up from left back. Whipped it in. Header at the back post from Charlie Filer. He that, is not he? moving well no. at all. He didn't run after that ball well and he clutched it as soon as he'd released the pass. Meanwhile, Shooting chance here, and that is a clean hit from James. A I bouncing think, ball like that. I think he's tried to cross that, and he's just got it slightly wrong. He's tried to put that and bend that on the half volley in behind. Looks like Zach Alley might be struggling. But that was what I was talking about. Joe Duncan can kick the ball a country mile, one ball, and suddenly you're up the other end of the pitch. He did strike it. Buried Alpha Ruprecht there. This is uh, Ramadan related. He's going to last the game. We've got a couple of boys who, who are going through that at the moment that are going to have something similar on Thursday night. And genuinely, would that not come into your mind with the warrior tag that he has had from a young age at City's Academy? Here's Sandala. Cutting it back in towards Abuabado. And uh, that is well defended by Morrison. Brilliant defending from Elijah Morrison. I'm sure he wasn't expecting to be doing too much defending in his own box at the start of the night, but 
he's dropped back into that left back role. And he gets up brilliantly to get above Obavuadu. Had more Bristol City injuries than we've had good chances. Simpson Pusey took it nicely and hit it well for a minute. When that left his boot, that looked perfect. Lovely control from the skipper. Yeah, one thing on his mind, wasn't it? Bring the ball down, work it onto that left foot. He struck it beautifully, didn't he? Like an arrow, but it just didn't quite bend round enough. The opportunity to do that. For so many players not playing where they started the night, although he's gifted a chance here right at the end of the half. They got away with it. And it's a relief, Joe James, who has the final touch there with a little nudge at the end of this first half. But uh, relief after the mistake. He had the game's best chance, certainly. Headed chance coming at him from the corner. And then uh, Simpson Pusey, late in the half with a decent effort. Got to one final. As a foot, Davis here has Filer outside him. It's just behind your bower. There's no ball getting them. It's a nice weight of pass right there. Robert over the target. As, uh, Prisoner, your bower. That's a good delivery. Oh, they've got a piece of it with the fist, and there might be a. Uh, Yaboa, he's got the pass off. Oh, the return ball was on to him. And it didn't get there. Thump behind by Naylor. What a chance. Oh, it really was. Won the ball back. Yaboa, pass into back, and then he tries to return the compliment. Could he have shot himself? Or just overhits that pass, and Naylor nicks him, but... It's going to be Seb Naylor's last involvement. He didn't feel at all it was a matter of time before City scored in the first half. He's starting to think that maybe now, if they keep sitting this deep, it may be inevitable. But we'll... Ten wins in a row in league and cup competitions. Frustrated here so far. Maybe this is their moment as Muir pulls it back and Heskey puts it a mile wide and high. It was the best chance, though, wasn't it? It was the best chance, well worked down the left-hand side. Lovely ball inside Max Davis to release Ashton Muir. He picked out the run of Heskey as Heskey arrived late. We'll see him arriving late now. He looks up and sees him coming onto it. That's a nice take from Filer. They managed to get themselves up the field. And still, Phillips... Curling effort. The scorer of their only goal in the quarter-final that won it. And we're just saying how much he's been having to defend rather than do the stuff he likes doing. That's close, Chris. Yeah, it was a similar chance, actually, in the quarter-final, but he went on, it, on his left foot in the quarter-final. This time, he's trying to bend it into... Phillips going for glory again. Not quite so close this time. He just had a little look up, and I wonder if he, he thought that True Grant was just a little bit far off. Showing you that here. Heskey into Simpson Pusey and now Noble. First time out for Ruprecht. Here's the chance. And Muir has buried it. Ten minutes to play. And the favourites finally find a way through. And it's no surprise at all that one touch stuff made it happen. Substitute Ashton Muir. Yeah, they've just, just been starting to, to get some joy down that right-hand side with the ball in behind Elijah Morrison. And it's, it's a lovely pass from Kian Noble. Splits the defence in between Phillips and Morrison. Lovely ball by Alfa Ruprecht. Cut back. All the City players have, have recovered deep. And there's Ashton Muir coming in from that left flank. Arriving on time, and his first touch is good enough that it allows him to have that second one. It's a really good finish. That first touch could have gone anywhere, but it was such a good first touch. Just put it into his pass so he could volley home the second one. Great composure from the sub. Regular scorer. 
Casa lays it back. Kake with the touch. It's just hacked out by Campbell Slowey after he has worked. Well, I think a lot of that's down to Bristol City tiring and, and the not being able to make another substitution hasn't helped. Looking for a second goal here. Okeke has been getting forward and enjoying himself. Well, he's playing the right wing-back role now, isn't he? So it's allowed him, it's freed him up to go forward a lot more. Which has essentially meant not really doing Gone and sat in, in the centre of the pitch. A little bit short from Campbell Slowey. The lob is on, and the lob is over. Mukasa. Yeah, it was great vision to see it, wasn't it? But just didn't quite have the technique to pull it off. First touch was perfect, set it really nicely for him, didn't it? Yeah, just overhits it slightly. Lucas is just going to take it and hold it. And that is it. One goal did it, late on from him, Ashton Muir, and it'll be Manchester City for the 12th time into the FA Youth Cup final. A bit of a slog against a Bristol City side who did a lot really well here tonight, Chris Perry. Oh, they were magnificent. They gave everything Bristol City. You know, they came with a game plan. They lost three players in the first half from their starting 11, but they stuck to that game plan and, and they, they took Manchester City, I think, as close as they possibly could. But in the end, that little bit of quality, you know, was just enough to win it for Manchester City. Incision when it came. Great cutback from Alpha Ruprecht to really coolly.